Hey, 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 you know what day it is. What day is it? It's Tuesday T with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday T with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday T with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday T with D. It's Tuesday T with D. You know, you know, Tuesday T with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday T with D. Uh huh, uh huh. Tuesday T with D. Tuesday T with D. Tuesday T with D. Hey, boo, hey, hey. It is Tuesday Tea with D. It's your girl, Deetra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and your personal life coach here with another serving and another dose of Tuesday Tea with D. I have officially, because it is, my kid has been sick the last two weeks, um, kind of season, and mama is trying not to get sick kind of season. And so we have gone back to my one of my originals, okay, of when I first started drinking tea. I first, I think, even introduced my I Speak Life Live tribe to this when we were virtual. And this is my green tea with ginger and probiotics. And then I also have my Wegmans tea, um, which is a peppermint tea. And so I used to drink this often, you know, when I could feel a little something coming on. And so lately I've been doing the fresh ginger tea with the honey and the lemon in it. Um, and I went to bed last night and woke up this morning with look like a little tiny scratch child. And I said, not today. And so I took a, uh, a spoonful of honey last night before I went to bed. And I took a spoonful this morning. And so I went and got my favorite cough drops. And honey, listen, I got the, the ginger with the probiotics and the peppermint tea mixed together. Y'all remember, if you knew, child, this is this is an original, okay? Before we had the mug, before we had the loose teas, this was the original tea, okay? And of course, it's good because it's an original, right? So with that being said... Um, we are literally like less than 20 days from I Speak Life Live. And so I'm just going to put this banner up real quick. Just um, And so if you missed early bird registration, general registration is still open. You can go to ispeaklifelive.com, ispeaklifelive.com. Again, if this is your first time joining me on Tuesday Tea with D or first time watching any of my YouTube videos, hey girl, hey, hey boo, hey, welcome to my part of the world um, at what I call, I don't know what I'm calling my YouTube channel, but I'm gonna call it True Heart Speaks TV, Dietra TV, I don't know. Um, but it's part of my world, right? And so, um, but if this is your first time hearing about I Speak Life Live, this is my three-day transformational spirit-led event um, for high-performing, high-capacity women of faith, the women who pour a lot into others, but do not take time and make time to allow themselves to be poured into. And so this is the event um, where I get to hold space for others who hold space for others, right? And so if you are somebody who holds space for people in leadership, management, at home, in ministry, in the community, um, I'd love for you to come where you can just be, where you can unplug, where you can accelerate and activate and anchor your faith, where you can recharge, where you can replenish and refill, um, where you can rediscover your dreams or reassess your dreams. You can kind of go back to the drawing board and see if where you where you are is really where you said you wanted to be. And maybe God wants you to be somewhere different. And so you get to have quiet time to really commune with him so that you can be in space to hear without distraction. We're not focused on anybody or anything other than you. You hear me? We're not focusing on your business. We're not focusing on your company. We're not focusing on your family. Now, obviously, who you are and what you do and how you be does impact them, but we want to focus on you. And so I want you to go to ispeaklifelive.com, ispeaklifelive.com. Because outside of all of that, um, it's also giving you an opportunity to reconnect with yourself and reconnect with God, right? We get so busy sometimes, child, doing the business of God that we sometimes miss him, that we miss intimacy with time, time with him, that we miss quiet time with him. And so this event really gives you an opportunity to get that. So with that being said, I need to see your face in the place. Um, registration is $4.97. And I think you can do two payments of $2.94. I think it might be. It's either $2.97 or $2.94, but you have the option of doing a one pay or two pay. Get in the child. You have time. You have time, right? We make quick decisions on a lot of other things that do not nearly impact our lives like this could possibly impact yours. And so I want you in the room. Okay. All right. So. Enough of that. Um, 
because I want you, I want you to register and I want your face in the place, right? I want you to no longer keep thinking about it. And I want you to go to the website, click the registration button, enter your, your, uh, your payment information so that you can get in the room. All right. So with that being said, this conversation is a continuation of what I talked about in my Facebook community yesterday. And it was a question that I posed and it says, it said, how long are you going to shrink to accommodate the um, the opinions of other people? And I think I said it a little bit differently. I think it was like, how long are you going to continue to shrink um, to, ac to accommodate people's opinions? But basically, you get the gist of the question, right? And I'll give this some background around where that came from. But today's conversation is, when did you start shrinking? When did you start shrinking? So let me just give you a little bit of background. I will make sure that I link the video in my Facebook group here in the YouTube description or wherever this video is so that you can go back and watch it because I literally talked for almost an hour and we had really good conversation around this topic. And so I'm not going to spend an hour here, but I'm going to give a couple of little nuggets to my Tuesday Tea with D family, because I know some of you are not in the Facebook group, which you should be. Um, and so you didn't know anything about it. And so a little background around that is maybe about two months ago. Now, you all know I've been walking and I've transitioned from walking outside to walking in the mall. And so one day I just decided to go live. I wanted to reconnect with, you know, my Facebook group community. I had not been going live at all, very sporadically outside of like our, our 21 days of prayer and different things like that. And even prior to that, before the morning life scope, if you know anything about the life scope. And so in that, I went live once and I was like, you know what? I think I'll come back, you know, next week. I think, you know, I like the vibe of this. It's I don't feel pressured to kind of show up and whatever. And I'm walking and I can kind of kill two birds with one stone, right? And so it led to maybe like one week, two week, three weeks. And then I just started calling it the Monday morning walk talk. And so I'm again live in my Facebook group, the I Speak Life Society. And so um, you do have to answer three questions to enter in. And that really just helps me to make sure that who's coming in are my people. And so if you don't answer the questions then you can't get in the group, because then I don't know if you're my people. Right. So that's kind of how that started. And so yesterday, um, so Sunday, I was listening to a message um, at T.D. Jake's church and one of his associate ministers was preaching a message. Um, and I think the message was called Band of Survivors. But the thing that really hit me and stuck with me was he was telling a story around him going to um, some type of clinician, right? It was a, a healer, a health provider and a, around his body. And the lady looked at him without having, you know, touched him, you know, had him do anything. And she just basically said, what happened to your right leg? And he was looking at her like, how did you even know? Like, we haven't had a conversation or anything. And so... What ends up happening was is he got into a really bad car accident and it kind of messed him up to the point of where they didn't even think he was going to make it. Like they didn't think he was going to be able to walk or anything. And so he out here child preaching, like just acting a fool out on that pulpit. You hear me? And being able to move and walk and all the things. And the lady says, no, it's a, I said, that's not it. It's a little deeper than that. And she looked at his body and based around his posture that's when she asked him the question, how long are you going to continue to shrink um, to accommodate the opinions of people? And he said, you know, and I'm paraphrasing something like, you know, I'm a grown man, you know, and, you know, but I like I lost it right there, just crying like a baby. And so because she spoke something into him and that question. And if you're a part of my community, my tribe, you know, we talk about not dimming our lights, not shrinking, all of that. So this question is not anything new, but it hit me differently um, for whatever reason around shrinking to accommodate other people and shrinking to accommodate not only other people, but the opinions of people, right? And so people's thoughts, people's opinions, people's questions, like just little things, right? You know, and so I started thinking today that I really wanted to continue having this conversation because I just wonder, taking it a little bit deeper, if you know me, right? When did you start shrinking, right? One of the questions that I asked yesterday, because there's a book, I have yet to finish it. I actually have the hard copy as well as the audible copy. 
but it's called the body keeps score. And the um, the premise behind it is, is, is that you can basically kind of tell um, specifically this woman could um, based around a person's posture where where they're holding trauma. And so I started to ask and even just 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 to think like, at what point did you start to cower? Right. Did you like how does your what is your posture saying about how you show up before you even say anything? You know, what are the things that you've been through that literally kind of change how you show up? And I think it spoke to me because there's been such trauma and so many different things that have happened in my life. I started to wonder, not even necessarily around you know, when I started shrinking, but just this idea around like what trauma I might still have stored in my body that would cause me to shrink and cause me not to show up as the highest and best version of who God created me to be. Now, most people would say, child, well, if there's more to it, like I don't understand, but there is people who know me know that there's more than me, CI. There's more to me than what I've been showing. Um, and so walking through my own personal healing process and walking through, you know, even just identifying what, where the trauma is, right. And God has been starting to reveal some of that. I think that's why this question hit me the same way it hit. And I won't say the same way, but it hit me different this time, right. You know, sometimes we say it hit different. And so something like you could say, you, you know, there's something where you'll say, you know, um, you have heard something for, you know, for years, you've heard somebody say it and then all of a sudden somebody else says it or, you know, it's said differently. And then all of a sudden it is it just hits you differently. You're like, man, like I've been hearing that. But no, this time it's something different about me hearing it. Right. It's not it's not even the fact that it's a different question. It's I'm hearing it with different ears. <clears throat> and so. As I started <clears throat> to think about today's conversation with you, this dose of tea, this serving of tea, I really want you to think about when you started shrinking. How old were you? What happened? What caused it? What does it look like? Because sometimes, you know what I think I, I found very fascinating about the conversation that the pastor had with the woman was how people who are really gifted in what they do and are really can identify a thing immediately, right? It didn't, she didn't have to study. She didn't have to ask him a whole lot of questions. She could look at him and tell by his posture that he had been shrinking. Child, that thing right there, it just, it does something in my Shana and I to be able to think that, in, in certain areas, when we finally show up and we finally step into the space, like our highest and, our, and the best space that God created us to step into, that it doesn't take long. Now, granted, her years of mastery, it may have taken years, right? So I'm not discounting mastery and I'm not discounting times of working through it and the expertise and the learning and all of that. I'm not discounting that. But at some point when you operate and you show up as your highest and best self, it literally seems too easy for other people. Like, it's like, man, like, how did you? And again, the way he was talking to her and he looked at her and was just like, how did you know that by looking at me? And so getting back to the initial question, I'm going to ask another question around what what areas have you not been showing up fully in, in your life? What areas, right? Has it been your health? Um, and could it be because of trauma? Has it been spiritually because you're concerned about how people might perceive you going all the way in? Is it on your job because you're concerned that people might think that you too much, that you are too suchy much, right? Is it, you know, even in your marriage, right? Has there, has trauma, form this narrative and this perspective to the extent that you have not shown up at the level that you really could be showing up at. And this is a personal question that I've been sitting with this since Sunday. And so this is not something that I'm just asking you to do that I have not taken the time to think about myself. Because I think sometimes we get so caught up in the journey of just moving that we don't take the time to pause 
and really think about how certain things really have affected us because maybe just even in our families, there is no space to address what happened. We just got to keep moving. That's that's a word in and of itself. You just keep moving, keep pushing. Like there's no there's no time to stop. We got to keep going, right? Or it's too complicated or we're just not equipped. We don't know what to do with that. Like, okay, well, I don't know what to do with that. We're going to keep moving. And so I just wonder, when when did you start shrinking? Was it something somebody said? Was it something someone did? Was it a specific experience? Was it rejection? Was it abandonment? And so I'd love for you to take some time and to journal about that. You know, as your coach, I'm going to ask you to do some homework, right? I'm going to ask you to, to dig a little deeper. I'm going to ask you because if I'm asking myself that question, I want to ask you that question. And if I'm contemplating it, I know that there's some people in my community who are contemplating it or who have not even thought about it. Like, you know, you're not showing up as your highest and best self yet. You haven't thought to say, okay, well, why? Because at some point you've just settled that this is how it's going to be. This is the way that it's going to be. It's not going to get any better than this. And I would beg to differ. I would say that it can get better. So there's so much that I, I want to say. And so I'm trying to be mindful just of time. But I really want you to think about, you know, if how you show up shows up as shrinking. Right. And that's when I talk about helping you to get out of your own way so that you can stop settling and show up for yourself in the same way that you show up for others. I just wonder, do you show up for others as the shrinking version of you or do you only do that for you? Child, this is so good. <laughs> I'm going to ask you that question again. Do you show up for others like the version of you that is shrinking, right? You're all, you, you shrink in a specific, do you show up like that for other people or do you only show show up like that for you? And the reason I'm asking is because nine times out of 10, the way we show up for others is different than how we show up for ourselves. Because technically we're not on display and we're not the one being judged. We're the one supporting. We're the one cheering on. We're the one telling people you could do it. You got this. And so I would love for you to think about that as well. And think about if you show up as the shrinking version of you when you show up for other people, or do you show up to some extent as your highest and best self because you enjoy supporting people? It's kind of like, and I've been um, even working through this over the last few years because I'm a great giver. I've not always been a great receiver. And so, and I believe that a lot of the women specifically, maybe men as well in my tribe are the same way where we can give, we can encourage, we can pour out, but we are not always good at sitting ourselves still enough to allow ourselves to be poured back into. Hence the reason why I created I Speak Life Live. I see so many women doing amazing things holding space for amazing people, their teams, their families, et cetera, et cetera. But at, at no point in time, is there ever a thought that I need a space where I, where somebody can hold space for me and I can just be. And, and so it's, you know, it's natural for us to show up for others. And for whatever reason, it doesn't feel natural for us to show up for ourselves. And so I really want to change the narrative. I really want to change the conversation. I really want to change our perspectives around that. And most importantly, you know, I want us to have conversation around what shrinking looks like. Um, because sometimes even, you know, asking you the question, when did you start shrinking? I'd love to also know what does that look like? What does shrinking look like for you like today? You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to pause there because I feel like this conversation could get heavier and I could go on. But I wanted to drop these nuggets today because I'm, I'm still sitting with it and working through it. And so really figuring out what are the support systems and what are the, the people who I need on my team in order to help me show up as my highest and best self. Um, but one of the things that, you know, and this is just a mini sidebar that I have been really talking about is this this whole conversation of belief, right? And it's kind of like, do we really believe, and I've talked about this, right? But do we really believe 
what we say we want to happen? Like, we do we believe? And so is that the reason why it doesn't happen? Or is that, is it, is it not belief, but shrinking, right? Is it, is, is it that we, it's not that we don't believe, it's that we, we don't want to fully show up. You see what I'm saying? Um, it's like, I believe, but matching my belief again with my activity and the activity around no longer shrinking, it's, it's there. And so I'd love for you to sit with this. I'd love for you to, to comment. I'd love for you to tell me what you're thinking about what I shared today. Um, it's this week's message. So, you know, it, there's more to that message than, than that one question, but you can totally go to TD Jake's, you know, website, YouTube channel and watch the message from Sunday. Let me know your thoughts on the message. Um, if you go into my Facebook group and you watch yesterday's uh, walk more, Monday morning walk talk, um, you can comment right there in Facebook. And so I'd love to hear your opinion and your thoughts around that. But also here, I'd love to be able to hear your takeaways and your thoughts around when did you start shrinking, right? And that means that you got to sit still long enough to really think like, man, I don't know. And then you got to have a conversation. You got to say, okay, Lord, you know, can you reveal to me maybe in my dreams or however God speaks to you and say, can you show me when I first started shrinking, what that looked like, what happened and why it happened? That's the work that's required for us to do in order to release ourselves from that stuff and release ourselves from the opinions of people so that we can show up in a space that is, as he says, you're bigger um, in a space that is bigger than the opinions of people, that is bigger than the experiences that have happened to you, that is bigger than people's thoughts, questions, quirks, you know, sarcastic remarks. Like sometimes it's not even just the opinions and maybe it could be all you know, wrapped in opinions, but sometimes it's a question. It's like, oh, so you going traveling again? You going on another trip? You buying another business? You starting a business again? I thought the last one didn't work. And those words, honey, you hear them enough. And if sometimes you only have to hear it once and it literally causes you to shrink back. And so that's why I want you to, because I want you to be able to get to the root of a thing and to be able to have conversation and sit with it so that not only can you be able to identify it, but that you can confront it, conquer it, and then move on, right? So if this was juicy for you, the way it was for me, child, this, you know, I like I said, I've been sitting with this since Sunday, you know, just kind of carrying it over from Sunday to Monday and now Tuesday. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure you comment. Make sure you, you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure that you share this with five people. You know, there is a share video link and then you can actually just cut and paste the link, text five people and say, child, you got to check out today's, uh, this week's Tuesday Tea with D, honey, because it was good. Share it on your social media pages. Put it in your stories, your reels, your TikToks, like share it everywhere. Hashtag Tuesday Tea with D. Hashtag um, True Heart Speaks. You can tag me at True Heart Speaks or at Dietra True Heart, depending upon where I am on social media. But I really, really, really believe that, you know, us showing up as our highest and best self does have it like we still do have to do the work um, that and, and identify what's really keeping us from showing up in those spaces. Right. And it's not an overnight process. It does take time. And so don't feel like, you know, you're going to be like this overnight success story tomorrow because that's not going to happen. Right. So with that being said, make sure you go to ispeaklifelive.com, ispeaklifelive.com to register. I'm going to share this here because I didn't share it earlier really quickly. Um, for you to join me for my three-day transformational spirit-led experience, December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Niagara Falls, New York. It is for the high-achieving, purpose-pursuing woman of faith who is ready to unplug, rediscover her dreams, anchor her faith, and reconnect with herself and God. And so you can go to True Heart Speaks, not True Heart Speaks. <laughs> you can go to ispeaklifelive.com ispeaklifelive.com in order to get your ticket. There is still space for you. There is still time for you. There is still a seat with your name on it. We have limited seats, but one of those seats is yours. So um, with that being said, I hope that today was a really good serving and dose of tea for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Tuesday Tea with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday Tea with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday, T with D. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Tuesday, T with D.